Hi, I'm Victor from DBMundo.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to center elements vertically in Divi. So we are going from this to this and we are also doing this and finally, I wish I had more hands, we will do this. Okay, let's get started. You will find all the snippets and resources needed in this blog post. If you are watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below. Let's scroll down and just a few words about why you should not use margin or padding to vertically center objects in uh, Divi. The padding or margin is fixed in pixels. But if your visitor has a smaller screen size, you can see that the elements will adapt, but your margin or padding will still be the same. So while this might look vertically centered on your screen, it will probably not do that on all screen sizes. So let's take a look at the first way to vertically center elements in DV. This is 100% responsive and we will not use any custom CSS for this one. Here we have the default look where the elements is aligned in the top. And this is the result that we're looking for where the elements are vertically centered. I'll head over to the DV builder and here we have it, Mr. Monkey and our text module. I'll start by opening the row settings by clicking the cogwheel and I'll go to design and sizing and I will choose equalize column heights. And this is something that I'll use for all three tricks in this uh, video. You will not see any difference right now. I'll head over to the text module here and I'll click the cogwheel. And now I will go to the advanced tab and I will scroll down to find the position tab. And in there I will choose position absolute. If it isn't centered by default, Maybe it looks like this. You can just click this middle option here in the position settings. And now you can see that this one is vertically centered. Okay, there is one more thing that we have to do before we are happy with this design. And that's the tablet and the mobile settings. Because if I preview this one in mobile or tablet, you can see that it overlaps because it has the position absolute and it's stacked, so I don't want that. So I'll hover the position heading and click the mobile icon to see the uh, responsive design settings. I'll make sure that the tablet is activated. I'll change it from position absolute to default. And now we can see that it has this nice spacing here. And if I preview it on phone, you can see that the phone actually inherits the value, the position from tablets. We don't have to do anything there. If we go back to the desktop view, you can see that it's still centered aligned here. Number two, center line all modules in one column. So what about if you have several modules in one column? Like this one, we have a text module and a button module. Well, then the position absolute will not work because these elements will overlap each other. So then we have another method and this will uh, demand a little bit of CSS. I'll start by clicking the row settings and the cogwheel and I'll go to design, sizing and I will choose equalize column heights. Now I will go back to the content settings for the row and you can see that we have column one that's Mr. Monkey here. And we have column number two, where we have the text module and the button module. So I'll click the cogwheel for column number two, the right column. And I will click the advanced tab and custom CSS. And in the main element, I will type margin colon auto and a semicolon. And voila, you can see that the modules are now center aligned. If I close this one and preview in tablet, you can see that it actually looks good. And the same thing in mobile. So we don't have to do any tweaks for tablet and mobile using method number two. Number three, 
center line multiple columns. What about if you have like four or five or six logos in different heights like this and you want to center align them? You could use method number one and two, but then you have to do it for each module or for each column. I would recommend another method and that does also include a little bit of CSS. Let's start with row settings. We go to the design tab sizing and equalize column heights. Now I will go to the advanced tab for the entire row and in the custom CSS main element I will type align hyphen items column center and a semicolon and now we can see that all these columns are vertically centered just by adding one little snippet of CSS. And if we preview this in tablet, you can actually see that since we used four columns, they display two and two in tablet, and they are actually vertically centered in this one too, which is nice. If I would remove the little CSS snippet like this, you would see that they would be aligned in top instead. Oh, that's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.